right. I know. I'm sorry. I got I get held up. Let me guess. You were cornering the market on next year's Franks and Beans crop, right? Yeah, something like that. It's Maeve, isn't it? No. Kyle, the truth. She got to me again. I don't know. It doesn't matter what I do or what I say to her. She won't tell me anything at all about my baby or... I'm sorry. I did it again, didn't I? I let Maeve get to me. I'm sorry. I just, I just can't help it. Yeah, I've noticed. Ah, uh, but then again, I mean, unless you're into ruts. I mean, we can always start this evening over again from the beginning. That, that's, that's a very good idea. Let's do that. <laughs> wait, wait. I mean, from the very beginning, out the door. You're not serious. I'm serious. Out this door. I want you to start over again. I want you to make a grand entrance and don't flub your lines this time. Get out there. Lights! Camera! Action! Hark! Is that a footfall I hear? Is that you, Don Juan? <laughs> Buena noche, senorita. Bonsoir, monsieur. No. Wrong language. <laughs> I need a translator. I don't. Mm. Now that is the Kyle Sampson I know and love. How about dinner at the Blue Orchid? Oh, come on, Warren. He, that place is so stuffy. Besides, he never lets me dance on the tables. It's a nice, sturdy furniture company. Let's go there. Mm, sounds like a good idea. Let me slip into something more comfortable. Well, I like the sound of that. Blue jeans, Mr. Sampson. And if you don't have that tie off, by the time I get back, I'm going to strangle you with it. As long as I've got on... You go find a, a table. I'm going to go see what Pop has for specials. I thought I told you to back off. Haven't you harassed her enough for one night? What's going on? Your boyfriend here just went three rounds with Maeve. Fletcher, please, no more. I told him to back off, but he seems to really like making her life miserable these days. Kyle, is that true? I don't know what he's talking about. I didn't harass Maeve. Andy's finest. Hey. Leave me alone. Look, I can explain. No, you can't. You never can. I mean, we have the same fight over and over again, and nothing ever changes. I'm sick and tired of it. Uh, I didn't want to get you upset, Rita. No, you never do. But you never do anything about it either, do you? All right, let's call it a night. Fine with me. No, damn it. We always end the evening like this. It, it always ends like this. I mean, why don't we try something a little different tonight? Like what? How about instead of calling the evening off, why don't we go out and try to have the best night we've ever had? Really? Yeah. Are you game? God, I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. What do you got in mind? How about you and me and the hottest spots in town? Think you can handle it? One way to find out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I hear music. Yeah, oh. I do. <laughs> no, 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 no. Change your station. I'm hearing something slow. Like this? Hmm. You got it. You know, I want to thank you for salvaging the evening. I really learned something tonight. Well, I didn't do it just for you. I did it for me, too. I just wish it could always be this way. Can? With 
practice. Didn't you say something about a board meeting first thing in the morning? What board meeting? The one that you said you had to rest up for. Oh, well, um, you know, I think that it would do those board members good to see me come on in in the morning without a tie and without shaving. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah it might do them some good to see that you're a human being after all. I don't want to go. I don't want you to. But I think it would be best for tonight. I go on one condition. And you promise me that we'll have other nights like this. Hmm? I hope we can. <laughs> <laughs> 